friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So the other day I had made the chicken uh, cheese and rice dish and there was quite a bit of it left. And I thought to myself that would be a really great lunch meal to use up the rest of it to have, you know, use up the leftovers and then, you know, we can also have a nice lunch. So today what we did is we pulled it out of the refrigerator, we put it in the combi underneath the combi meals, cooked it for the 15 minutes. I think it looks amazing. I think it looks really, really yummy. Reopened up another can of the liquid cheese. We have some lettuce and tomato and onions here. Um, I don't know for sure if the boys want sour cream or anything. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But anyways, I'm, I'll just show you on my burrito because I'm not going to be adding sour cream to mine. And I'll show you how that's being done. So I'll bring it down here. All right. See how nice that combi made that look? Now, we didn't do the combi crisp or anything, but that just looked really super nice, I think. And... And he had some of the cheese left over from the last time, but I think it's gonna be fine to add a little bit more cheese. We won't make this like a wet burrito or anything. We'll just go, go ahead and make it just like a regular burrito that you would eat. Now I warmed up some cheese. I'll put a little bit of cheese over the top of this. And take some lettuce. So I'll go ahead and since that's mine anyways. Take some lettuce and some onions. Now obviously you all can put in there whatever you would want. Mark chopped up the tomatoes and it has a little bit of onions in with it, but that's okay because I like tomatoes and I like onions, so that's fine with me. Now I'm not going to go ahead and put um, taco seasoning or anything on this. It's just going to be, this is going to be super simple. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't tuck this in. See if I can make a halfway decent burrito. I'm still gonna have to use a fork and a knife, obviously. But that makes good use of leftovers. I mean, this is probably gonna be way too big for lunch and everything. But as you can see, we still have enough. Jack and Mark are here. So there's probably still gonna be even just a little bit left, even if you, you know what I'm saying? Even if they stuff their burritos really full, there's gonna be some still left. So if anybody's still hungry, they can have some. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and tag that video on um, from the other day when we actually made the meal the first time. That is definitely going to go into rotation. Uh, one thing we do like about it, it tastes good fresh, obviously. But as you can see, how much is left over. So that way we can actually go ahead and um, make this a whole second meal. Throw that right in the freezer. And at times we can make a burrito. You could throw this easily over nachos and make the nachos, or you could rewarm it back up in the way we had it the first day. I think that um, the this po the endless possibilities of what you can make from this, and it's pretty good. If if people were wondering if Mark did like this, he's not a fan of chicken taco anything. He likes the beef taco anything. So for him to say yes, put in a rotation, that says something that it did actually taste pretty good. So that's that's thumbs up. So thank you very much for stopping by. This is just a very short video because this is a lunch video, but I mean, it, it works and you know, we're going to be full. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.